Now today we're going to discuss a question on continuity. The question is let R be the set of all real numbers and alpha belongs to real number. We have to define a function whose domain is R and codomain is R and functional value at 0 is given as 0. The function is defined. Now we have to find the values of alpha for which the function becomes continuous at x is equal to 0. So our question is how many alphas are there for which it becomes continuous at x is equal to 0. So first of all I'm going to define the function. So f of x will be given as mod of x whole raised to power alpha. Let's open this series. Let's start putting from n is equal to 0 to infinity. If I put n is equal to 0, I'll get this and then next is n is 1. Similarly, if I put n is equal to 2, I'll get 1 plus x square whole square. And it goes till infinity. Now, if you notice one thing here is uh, the common ratio of this is a GP and the common ratio is r is 1 upon 1 plus x square. Now x square will be a positive number that is greater than 0. The combined is greater than 1. So in denominator it's greater than 1. That means the whole thing is less than 1. The common ratio is less than 1 and it's going till infinite. So I think it's infinite GP. Because the common ratio is less than 1. Now I'm going to apply the formula of infinite GP. So f of x I can write this as mod of x whole raised to power alpha. And we'll get this as 1 upon 1 minus r. And the common ratio is 1 plus x square here. So if I simplify this, I'll mod of x whole raised to power alpha as it is. And if I simplify, I think I'll get this as 1 plus x square and divide by your x square. Let me further simplify this and let me club this with x square and mod. So I think I can take x square as a positive thing. I can take inside the mod. There's no problem. So I'll get this as mod of x whole raised to power alpha minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus x square. Now Indirectly, this is my function. Okay, I've simplified. This is a beautiful form as you can see. Now, there will be three cases which is possible here. See, 1 plus x square is a fixed number here, but I think we have to comment on the value of alpha here. So, the power can be positive, the power can be negative, or power can be zero. So, I'm going to consider all three cases. So, let's say the first case is when alpha minus 2 is greater than zero. Second case is alpha minus 2 is equal to zero. And third case is alpha minus 2 is less than 0. Let's consider all of them. Let's consider the first thing when power is positive of x here. So I think limit if we calculate x is tending towards 0 of f of x. I think it will be equal to 0 because when you put 0, this gives us 0 and the rest of the terms give you finite. So 0 into finite is 0. And I think that is equal to f of 0 because functional value is given initially that is 0. So if limit, right hand limit, left hand limit is equal to functional value, I think it will be continuous for all values of alpha minus 2 greater than 0. Second, again limit x is tending towards 0. f of x if you calculate for alpha minus 2 exactly 0. I think it will be equal to, for exactly equal to 0, I think it will be equal to uh, 1 here. And this will be not equal to f of 0. So I think this is not our case. Alpha minus 2 should be greater than 0. If it is equal to 0, it's not continuous because the limit is equal to 1 as you can see here. Now the third case here, limit x is tending towards 0, f of x, when the power is less than 2. Okay. When alpha is less than 2, alpha minus 2 is less than 0. So here I think the limit does not exist here. Why? Because you will get 1 plus x square upon x raised to power mod of x raised to power 2 minus alpha and the power of degree of denom denominator is bigger than numerator. Okay. So the degree of denominator is less than numerator. So I think here limit does not exist here because this is not a finite value. So in this case, it is not continuous. The, the second case is also not continuous. First case, I think it's continuous. That means alpha minus 2 is greater than 0. That means alpha is greater than 2. I think the values of alpha are 3, 4, 5, 6, n and so on till infinity. So we got the values of alpha for which the function is continuous. So our answer is, I think, D option. More than four elements. And that will be all.